So a lot of people are posting in the Facebook groups asking if Cricut Design Space is going to be compatible with uh, Windows 10 when it releases on July 29th of 2015. So we're about nine days away from that big release date. And I uh, don't expect that Cricut will have a delay announcing support for Windows 10 or if they're is I don't expect them to have much of a delay because on July 29th or very shortly afterwards all the computers in retail so if you go to Staples or Best Buy or anywhere like that they are pretty much all going to have Windows 10 on them so uh, again I don't expect there to be, be much of a delay uh, with that especially since compatibility is a lot better these days from Windows from one version to the next uh, at least uh, in modern versions if you have some old applications that are 10 or 12 years old they may not carry over so well but the way that upgrade works is if you are running Windows 7 or Windows 8 8.1 you will get the Windows 10 upgrade for free if you choose to upgrade no one is being forced to upgrade there is a rumor out there that everyone is going to be upgrading whether they like it or not that is not true but in that first year after release so up until July 29th of 2016 16, if you are running Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, or 8.1, you will be able to download and install that upgrade for free at the time of your choosing. So I am running the Windows 10 Preview Edition. So this is, uh, in a sense, a beta copy. Uh, it is um, somewhat... Uh, you know, finished. It's not the final release, of course. We won't see that for another nine days. But I wanted to give you a quick tour of the operating system to show you a few things for changing what you have to look forward to. So as you see, the icons are, uh, you know, shaped and they looked a little bit different than uh, we're used to in previous versions of Windows. Uh, some of the icons will look the same because those are program specific, but the Windows icons themselves will begin to take a little bit of shape uh, and ch you know, change as far as how they look. So you'll see some things that look familiar. The taskbar at the bottom, you can pin your icons to the bottom, which is what I always do, put all my convenient icons down there. You have your system tray over here next to the clock. And one of the things that you have different will be this little bar here that you can click because you will have virtual desktops and you can flip from one desktop to another and have different programs running on it. So another thing that you'll see different is this notification panel. So if I click this, this is where it will show me all my notifications. It says things like Windows up, Windows has updated, you need to restart, and all those kind of things. They're starting to make it look more like a mobile operating system like you're accustomed to on your tablets and phones. So uh, that's just a look that they're going to with these tiles and so forth. If I click on all settings, it takes me into what looks like a control panel. They haven't done away with the traditional control panel yet. It is still located on the start button, at least in the preview edition. But this is where you'll come for most of the things that you will set, such as your printers, your network settings, accounts, and things of that nature. And again, they're just making it look more like the modern mobile operating systems. Down here on the left, you'll have the integrated uh, search bar, and you'll also have the option to run Cortana, which is the Windows uh, assistant that you can use voice recognition and commands with. And if you have multiple programs running, you can use this task view to see all the different programs that you are running. And as I mentioned, you can pin your icons to the taskbar as well. If you click on the start button now, you do get a more traditional looking Windows start menu than what we had in Windows 8 and 8.1. So you have uh, they have kind of integrated the tiles into this and you can click this button and take it full screen if you wish or you can go back to menu mode and down here at the bottom of the menu you can click on all apps and you'll see the listing for all the programs that you have installed you could get to that on Windows 8 but it was just a little annoying because you had to switch over to the tile or what they call the metro interface and then click the link to get to your all apps uh, icons um, another nice feature is if you need to find a program, you can just start typing in the search bar and it will start to find those programs as well as searching for you on the web if you choose to do so. The browser built into Windows 10 and the preview edition is called Project Spartan. The Microsoft Edge browser will be replacing Internet Explorer. So you will not have Internet Explorer in Windows 10 moving forward. 
I have not tested this with Design Space since they are still in the uh, early stages of the design as far as this version that I am running. Uh, when it comes out, it will have the full version of the Edge browser by Microsoft integrated, and uh, we'll be able to test it and see how it does with Design Space. Then, honestly, I don't think we'll have any issues with that, but you never know. So I have installed the latest version of Design Space and the Design Space plugin on this preview edition of Windows 10. And if I launch it, I have uh, Chrome installed and it comes up and launches and runs just fine so far from all of my testing. I have not had any issues with cutting or printing cut or any of those types of features. Um, you can also run it in Firefox. Uh, again, I have not tested it in the new Microsoft browser because I don't have the final version on this release. I don't expect that there will be a lot of problems with Windows 10 because the Cricut software is pretty independent of the operating system and runs in the browser. Now, someone asked me the other day, well, then why not support older uh, operating system like Windows XP or w w Windows Vista and the problem you have to realize is that a lot of times the development tools in uh, software are built around modern technology so if Microsoft provides new development tools they are going to be geared towards developing developing applications on newer operating systems and they won't support the old operating systems it's not like the old days where when you wrote a program you literally sat down and typed the entire program and the code into an editor um, that today we use tools and libraries of tools to build applications and that makes things a little bit more complicated as far as running things in older operating systems so it's a compounded issue it's not just a choice that software vendors make to not be backward compatible a lot of times so I just wanted to give you a quick preview of Windows 10 and show you that I have been running it in the preview edition okay and that's not to say that something might change with the final release and whether or not uh, Cricut will announce support quickly. Uh, that's just, these are just my opinions and my gut feelings but I did want to show it to you and show you what I've been working on as well so I uh, hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions or comments please post them down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and besides the subscribe button be sure to click that little gear and check the box to receive an email when I publish a new video if you're interested in my support services or consulting services please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information additionally you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.